So it was a debate on Facebook today. Is this the mixtape Mount Rushmore right here? Jeezy, Wayne, 50, and Future. Uh, let's start off with the ones that have to be up here. In my opinion, 50 has to be up here. It's an argument around this, but I can make a case that 50 Cent is the beginning of mixtapes. You know, 50 was the one who started putting freestyles on other people beats and original music together doing an intro and outro on them putting them out and selling them to the streets not putting them in stores 50 is the creator of that so 50 has to be on the mount much mount much more of mixtapes one of the greatest mixtape artists ever 50. somebody else has to be up here Lil Wayne has to be up here Wayne has to be up here simply for one reason he's the greatest mixtape artist of all time period I would say out of the top 10 mixtapes of all time, Wayne probably have three or four of them. You got Dedication 2, Dedication 3, Drought 2, and Drought is over. I mean, he has some, Wayne got some mixtapes that people just forget about, like Drought is over 6. Like, Wayne mixtape catalog is crazy. Mix, greatest mixtape artist of all time. Now, this is where it gets tough in my opinion. Jeezy. Now, it's a debate. This is where it's a serious debate. Would you put Jeezy or Gucci up here? Personally, for me, I'm putting Jeezy up here. Trap or Die mixtape series is so iconic. It was so monumental. And I believe Trap or Die came before any Gucci mixtape. I think Gucci's first project was Trap House, which was an album. Gucci, I mean, if Jeezy first project Screech is back and Trap or Die are mixtapes. So 50, I mean, also uh, Jeezy went the mixtape route off rip. You know what I'm saying? And I think Trap or Die is a top 10 mixtape. I don't think Gucci has a top 10 mixtape. He has a lot of great mixtape songs, a lot of great mixtapes. I don't think Gucci has a in my opinion, some people will argue who should be on there, Gucci or Jeezy. I'm going with Jeezy. So, three are right. Now, the person I have the biggest problem with, Future. I do not believe Future should be up here. I believe, let me, let me say why. I believe Future is probably the last mixtape artist. He's, he, I think Future would be the last mixtape icon that we have. But here's, here's why I have my problem with Future, right? Future, iconic mixtapes. He went on a hell of a run in the uh, mid-2010s. But here's my problem with Future. I don't believe Future changed the game of mixtapes. I mean, I feel like Future pretty much just piggyback off of what Jeezy and Gucci already did. And another thing, I think sometimes we get caught up in the South so much, even though I'm from the South, we have to acknowledge other regions. Like three Southern artists, no. Another, to me, who I would have had up here is fourth. Cause I feel like he changed the mixtape game so much. And he has probably two or three top 10 mixtapes as well. Where's Khalifa? Where's Khalifa was one of the artists that changed mixtapes from just being a street thing to everybody can enjoy mixtape. People in the suburbs can enjoy mixtape. It ain't just about street music on mixtapes. I think Wiz did that. Cushion Orange Juice, Burn After Rolling, uh, Taylor Earth to Dice, Cabin Fever. Wiz, to me, I would take Wiz's mixtape run over future mixtape run. 